Hi, welcome to episode 11 of the Sweet Sparrow Knits podcast. My name is Julie. You can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, and Periscope as Julie Rose Sews. And you can find my hand dyed yarn on Etsy at sweetsparrowyarns.etsy.com. Welcome. So this week I am recording from the woods by my mom's house. I'm visiting her for the weekend. Um, yesterday morning we went blueberry picking, which was really fun. Uh, that was always something that was a tradition when I was growing up. And last year my mom and I decided to start it again. So we did that yesterday and then last night we made a blueberry pie, which was exciting and delicious. There are some very vocal chipmunks in the area, so um, hopefully that's not too bothersome. Um, Personally, I, th I like their noise. I think it's cute, but um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. So first, I want to say a big thank you to all of you for all of your support in my latest Etsy shop update. Um, the comments that I received about my Halloween colorways were so sweet, and of course, thank you so much uh, to everyone who um, who decided to purchase something from the shop. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I hope that you love your yarn as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I have a finished object. There hasn't been any traffic all day, and of course, as soon as I start recording, it's like cars from every direction. My finished object this week, I have finished the Hermione Sweet Tooth Socks. These are for my mom. They have their afterthought heels. And these are knit out of Knit Picks Felici in the Sprinkles colorway in the stitch pattern from Erica Luder's Hermione's Everyday Socks. Um, just 64 stitches, size two needles. I'm super happy with how these came out. And my mom tried them on yesterday and she loves them. So these will be staying here with my mom. These will not be coming back to my apartment with me. So since I have this pair off the needles, let's move into works in progress. My first work in progress is a new cast on this week. And it's the Tulsi Socks by Verena of the Wool Club. I started these on Saturday evening. Uh, it is now Monday mid-morning, by the way. Um, I am off of work today. So this is about a day and a half worth of knitting. It has an eye of partridge heel. And I love the stitch pattern on the front. Oh, I'm so excited about these socks. I cannot wait to be wearing them this fall. So this yarn for the main body of the sock is the Fawn and the Fox um, in the Grand Budapest colorway on Lara's Raven base and I think it is just so pretty in this pattern. I love the way it shows off all the beautiful colors in the yarn. And my contrast toe, heel, and there will be a contrasting cuff is Knit Picks Stroll Tweed and the Barn Door Heather colorway. Um, last year I went on kind of a nitpick stroll buying spree. <laughs> so I have a lot of uh, stroll and especially stroll tweed. So um, here's, here's Lara's yarn in the cake. Oh, it's so pretty, I love it. Um, so that is my first work in progress. And those are speeding along, so I'm hoping to have at least one sock finished uh, by next week's podcast. It's getting toasty out here. And my second work in progress is my Scrumptious Memories quilt. As always. I'm in the middle of a square right now, so it's a little bit, a little bit all over the place. So this is the square that I am currently working on. Some of these are from mini skeins in swaps and uh, the rest are just from leftovers from projects, but I think that'll be a pretty square. 
and I have my colors picked out for my next square. I really love putting together these little groupings of eight colors. Here are the eight for my next square. And some of these are mini skeins that I received um, in my advent calendar from Hamptons Artistic Yarns last year. Um, one of them is from the Shire mini skein set that I showed a few episodes ago. That's this guy. This is called A Shortcut to Mushrooms. And then um, the rest of these are from a swap that I did with the wonderful um, Mary Mac Wears Black or Mary Mac in Black. Um, she just sent me the most incredible package. I, she really spoiled me. Um, she sent me gorgeous mini skeins and wonderful stationery and sweets. It was just the sweetest package in the world and I will share more of that with you guys uh, next week when I'm back at my apartment recording. With my blanket, I am trying to decide whether I want to keep all of my squares individual until I'm ready to do um, like the final assembly at the end where I'll seam all the squares together or or whether I want to go ahead and uh, start joining them in rows of seven across, um, or I guess eight across and then seven down. Um, I haven't decided yet how I want to handle that. Um, I kind of like the idea that I'll be able to see how big it's going to be before it's done. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking I'll probably, I'll probably start joining them. I also wanted to thank you guys for all of your advice regarding my crazed Scandinavian cowl. Uh, I had shown that last week and I just wasn't 100% thrilled with it. So um, after some consideration, I think I'm going to do kind of a, a compromise. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip out the cowl and cast it on again in the same yarn but with the color positions reversed. Um, I realized that what I wasn't too happy with about the cowl is that it really comes across much much more gray than pink and I think when I cast it on I was thinking it would look uh, not equal but a little bit closer to equal than it turned out looking. <laughs> Um, so I think that's going to be what I do with that, but that's probably going to be a winter project because that's something that I really need um, a decent chunk of time to work on with the color work patterns. So it's going to be kind of a short episode this week um, just because I don't have all my stuff to show and um, I've really been focused on those three projects, uh, but I do want to talk about what I'm watching. Um, I am watching two series right now and they are they're both like not child friendly <laughs> at all so the first one is elementary which is a take on Sherlock Holmes and John Watson um, but in this case it is Sherlock Holmes and Joan Watson um, and it is such a good show the reason I kind of started was because um, I really like Law and Order and um, Law and Order like the regular series is not available on any streaming services for whatever reason um, so I wanted some mystery uh, so I saw that Elementary was on Hulu which I am subscribed to <laughs> um, so I decided to give it a shot and watch the first episode and I was hooked it's so good I love it um, I wasn't sure how I would feel about the idea of Watson as a woman, um, but I think they, I think it was done very well, um, and I'm really enjoying the show. So if you like mysteries and you're not afraid of a little, a little gore, which is weird because usually I'm like, I can't watch scary movies at all, but for some reason like crime TV shows don't bother me. I don't know what that's about. The other show that I am currently watching is uh, Wentworth, and season four just came out on Netflix. I had already watched the first three seasons. Um, I would recommend this show if you like Orange is the New Black. Uh, however, 
it's definitely more graphically violent than Orange is the New Black. Um, and I think it's, like, it's, it's a lot less lighthearted. There's not a lot of, um, of humor in Orange is the New Black in terms of the plot lines. There's definitely funny moments, but um, unlike Orange is the New Black, you really never forget that you're watching something in a very grim setting. But if you do like Orange is the New Black, I would recommend Wentworth. It takes place in Wentworth Prison, um, which is a women's prison. And I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to give it away. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely check that out if that's the kind of thing that you like. And if you do, definitely send me a message so that we can, we can talk Wentworth. <laughs> Also, thank you guys so much for all of your kind words about um, when I talked about my upcoming tattoo appointment last week. I really appreciated that and um, yeah, still super excited about my tattoo. Can't wait to show it to you. Um, and I think that's about it for this week. It feels like such a short episode, but um, yeah, all of, my, all of my knitting was pretty focused this week. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next episode. Bye! <laughs> Bugs!